What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brianna. If you don't know now, you know, and now we are best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So, in today's video, we are going to do some meal preps. Okay, we whipping it in the kitchen. All right. If you don't know, I have been on a weight gain journey. So these meals are going to keep us full and get us right and tight. Okay. Period. So the first meal is going to be a crab cake and Caesar salad dish. Later in the video, you'll also see me making some um mashed potatoes some salmon some rice some asparagus some mixed vegetables stir fried veggies whatever you want to call it we're going to do a variety of things so each meal can have a little different taste you know so i'm starting off with prepping my potatoes these are the red mini potatoes for my garlic mashed potatoes girl fyi i made my potatoes to go with my crab cake and caesar salad so i can have a starch but girl i turned around and my whole family ate my damn mashed potatoes they literally left me like a small portion so that didn't go as planned but anyways i'm just getting my water boiled you want to make sure that you wash off your potatoes um, if you don't like the skin, go ahead and make sure that you, you know, peel those babies. But I like the skin, to be honest. And it also gives you more nutrients if you didn't know. So, yeah, moving on to our crab cakes. FYI, this is the first time I ever made these crab cakes. And I got this recipe off TikTok, girl. Because I'm obsessed with TikToks. So anyways, you're going to need some fresh lump crab meat. This is by Boss. Or whatever you're definitely going to need you some lemon lemon juice lemon zest you're going to need some dijon mustard you know give it a little flavor a little pizzazz some chives okay make sure your chives are fresh girl because mine was a little wilted mm, i ain't put too many of them in there y'all see you're also going to need some worcestershire sauce did i say that correctly if not, yeah, whatever. Um, I used an egg because that's what the recipe called for. But I ended up telling my mom what I did. And she was like, ugh, why you put an egg in there? I was like, girl, I don't know. That's what the, the people tell me on TikTok to do. But anyways. And then you're also going to need some breadcrumbs. Um, I picked up two different ones from the store. I ended up going with the Progresso because they were plain and the other ones were Italian. I ain't want no Italian flavor seasoning in my breadcrumbs, girl. So get you some plain breadcrumbs and then whatever seasonings you want to use. I decided to use a little bit of Obey, celery salt, some slap your mama, okay? Because that shit is fire. I put it in all my meals for real, for real. Some freshly ground black pepper. A little bit of onion and garlic powder. Girl, if you don't put that, if you don't put onion and garlic in everything, then like, do you really know how to cook? like do you really know how to cook um and then you're definitely gonna need some butter for your pan and then some mayo i like miracle whip i use miracle whip because it's sweet and it's my preference if you want to use hellman's or any other kind of mayo do you boo it's all about preference when it comes to cooking okay okay so yeah y'all i'm about to start prepping everything just putting it in a bowl i don't ryan really gonna sit here and talk about me doing everything because it's kind of obvious of what i'm doing so i'm basically just getting all of the wet ingredients and my seasonings together in a bowl i'm gonna whisk it up together in a second and then i'm going to add in my lump crab meat a little bit by little to make sure that you know, my ratio was together, and then I'm going to put some breadcrumbs in as well. All of the measurements will be either on the screen or in the description box below. I don't want to put everything on the screen because it can be a little bit distracting. So make sure you check my description box for any questions that you have before commenting, okay? Also, do know that if you are a pescatarian, these meals are perfect for you, okay? I've actually been, like, considering becoming a pescatarian just because i love seafood to like the death of me but baby i also love chicken and steak little rib little pork little here and there you know what i'm saying so i don't know but if you are pescatarian this meal is perfect for you um if you vegan baby click off right now okay click off you should have clicked off two minutes ago 
<laughs> because yeah this ain't that okay so yeah right now i'm just prepping everything like i said i'm probably gonna be quiet because i don't want to talk to you guys through the entire video so i'm gonna play some music and i'm gonna come back when i have something to say you guys so one thing i do want to say is after you have everything mixed up you want to switch from using a whisk to a spoon or a fork maybe uh, when it comes to seafood period you want to treat it like it's a delicacy you know seafood tends to be a little bit more pricey a little bit more expensive so definitely make sure that you aren't stirring and mashing your ingredients but you're more of doing like a folding technique you know what i'm saying look at me thinking i know how to cook um ah, too much okay so um you can't taste this mixture because you have like raw egg throughout it and stuff so just make sure that you season it properly um and i would suggest not over seasoning because you can always add like salt pepper or lemon juice at the end so now i'm just gonna get some parchment paper on to a plate you want to use something that won't really stick to the food so parchment paper is perfect and i'm just forming my crab cakes so i wanted to make sure that i had large crab cakes first off because i didn't want to make this process any longer than it had to be so i didn't want to have to be up here making a little mini damn crab cakes now we're gonna make some big boys because i'm a big girl okay we're trying to get the gains so this is the size that i ended up with so now you want to make sure that you get a, a pan that is non-stick and that's what we're going to use okay so while i'm getting my non-stick pan heated up we're going to attend to these boiling potatoes over here and i'm just using this like really long skewer to stick through them to make sure that they are fully done so basically i boiled them for 20 to t it was either like it said 20 to 25 minutes i think i only did 20 because my potatoes were fairly small so you know once you do that you want to drain them off and i'm just going to put them to the side so they can cool down a little bit before we mash them up so now that we've done that i got this recipe straight off google too girl i should have asked my mama because she mashes she she do mashed potatoes differently um i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop following google because sometimes they be they be messing the girl up but anyways i'm gonna take this masher and i'm just gonna mash my potatoes up i was going for like a thicker consistency but usually i like my mashed potatoes to be nice and smooth girl so Mash them up a little bit more than I did, and you're going to add in some milk. I'm, I don't remember how much, and I know I added damn near like a half stick of butter. <laughs> okay, butter make it taste better, okay? Um, I did forget to add my garlic. I don't know how I was trying to make garlic mashed potatoes without no garlic, but I think I added garlic powder in there somewhere but um to make sure that my butter is going to be smooth and i can blend it easily throughout my mashed potatoes i pop my butter into the microwave for a little bit just so it can soften and then you're going to season your potatoes with anything that you want i think i stuck to salt pepper um i think i stuck to salt pepper i did a little bit of garlic powder also, I have a sick grandmother who really has to pay attention to the foods that she consumes and she can't have too many seasonings. So yeah, once you season your potatoes, you're just going to mix them all up. Make sure you taste, get the consistency that's good enough for you. 
And then I think I just sent him to the side while we tend to these crab cakes, okay? Just to let y'all know, the recipe says to get these crab cakes on the stove top, get some butter, browning with some lemon juice, and baste them. Pop them in the oven for 10 minutes, and then broil them for 6 to 8. Honey, that was way too long. Apparently, my oven be pumping. So they did get a little too brown at the bottom, but they still turned out really good. But I will cut that time literally in half to make sure that they stay nice and juicy. Okay? <laughs> crab cake and Caesar salad you know that was something slight something light and now we're gonna go into a heavier meal also please disregard how I be looking girl I be having my pajamas on no bra I'm comfortable in my own home okay so don't judge but anyways we are going to first do some stir fry veggies so right here I got some yellow and red peppers and some broccoli also got some baby bella mushrooms because they just fire definitely want to get you some garlic and some onions okay I'm also showing you my asparagus because on the days where I don't eat my stir fried veggies, I'm going to have some bomb baked asparagus, okay? So, like I said in the beginning, very easy, very self-explanatory. I'm going to be quiet, let the music play while I cook. Please make sure that you like this video, okay? I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone with the hair, makeup, vlog videos. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of, you know... A little sign new, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you like this video so I know that you enjoyed it so I can produce more content for you guys.
here are some key things to note when you are stir frying your veggies. Please use olive oil or some kind of other oil, but I didn't have any at all. So I was forced to use vegetable oil, but it's okay. You want to make sure that you saute your onions and garlic first before you throw in your veggies. Another thing with the salmon, I hate having skin on my salmon. It's ugh, disgusting. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry I lost the footage of me taking the skin off. But once you do that, you should be good to go. I'm also going to be flipping in between stir frying the veggies and the salmon. But just so you know, I pan seared my salmon for four minutes on each side and then let it rest. Okay, so yeah, y'all, I think I'm done talking for the video. I really, really hope you guys enjoy Everything is self-explanatory, so I'm just going to let the music play out. Um, I'll probably come back at the very end to thank you guys for watching. I love y'all support. Y'all don't even know how much it matters to me. So, yeah, before I get emotional over here, girl, let me be quiet. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Crush my mashed potatoes like all my mashed potatoes gone 
I'm like crushed on mashed potatoes. That's all I got left. Okay, you guys. So that really wraps up my meal prep healthy gains video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what meals I should make next because I'm definitely going to give you guys a lot of these videos because I am trying to gain weight, honey. So if you have any tips for me, also comment those in the comment section. It's the safe space. So yeah, without further ado, that wraps up this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, mamas. Mwah. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it.